Welcome back. We have a blacklist international taking on Virtus Pro, the team hot out from sea, hot from the Philippines, uh, taking on the Russian team. And looking at the other lanes, uh, Ursa is doing good as well. 13 and 4, he's going for a kill. On the yep. blood grenade. And Tims, he will be the first to drop. <laughs> yeah, well, he really valued those skill points. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay. Well, well, those feel it's here. Green on Taurus. Oh, he steals the wisdom rune. They Very bashed nice. him, they hit him, they killed him, but not before he stole the rune. John Noel, in the meantime, he is punished for attempting the same to fight him. It's not just bringing numbers, it's also about how you play the map, shopping the links. Because you have Timber and Storm, those heroes are going to be ours. The links. No way out for him here. And his flame break did not hit well, Gabby. However, they are rotating. They see this Ursa on the wards. Tims doesn't have a, uh, a charge for 10 seconds. I don't believe he makes it out of this one, especially with the bushwhack connecting from FMG. Gabby releases him by putting the tree, but uh, all it does is really allow him to die a couple steps to the right. There's a charge going down bottom. They don't yet have that nether strike. I think this is just, well, maybe they'll yeah, make an effort for it. Yeah, they have actually gotten through his raindrop charges here. Another one up in a second as Kiritich without enrage. He goes down fairly easily, which is a few seconds away from having it back off. Pulled down. John Wells is going to come through the twin gate. Gave some aid now to the spirit breaker. Very annoying <laughs> with those fire spirits, especially at level three, but uh, ultimately won't be able to change the outcome of that. A one for one trade. Very, very worth it. That was a uh... Uh, a value pick off there. And the I river. The nice river. river. Yeah, nice. he likely dies for this, I believe. I'll bet. Yeah, he's not going to miss against the squirrel. And we'll pick up the kill. So it's better to sacrifice yourself as a support right. so that your cause don't die. Taurus, I think he's going to die. I think probably he recognizes where the ward is. He, he put down that sentry thinking it was planted around the outpost. Unfortunately, it's on the high ground cliff. He will pay uh, for that with his life. Rotating top. Notice is under the tower, getting very aggressive now with the Twisted Chakram onto Natsumi. They will ensnare him. They're going to look for a kill. Abed with a cool in nine seconds. As that's a very nicely timed stun from Tim's. That's a big kill onto Noticed. Another charge. Oh. Yeah, FMG into the trees. Unfortunately, they still have vision of him as he is going to be stunned, pushed, and killed. Burned to death, in fact, by Jean Well. He's even taking Ancients, look at him, man. Why not? He's gonna stack them, I think, here on, on Taurus. He is being charged. Tim's connecting now from the Tier 2 tower. Very nice flame break there on the two. Is, wow, Supernova committed here just to make sure that they get the kill. Gotta be careful it does not go to the Ancients. As on the river, it is gonna be uh, that first Orchid being put to great use by Kiritich. Uh, that is a phenomenal... Sorry, by Squadix make that. That is a phenomenal kill for him. He's eventually dying for the uh, Wisdom Rune. It does have a point in Sanaga the Siren, and I'm bringing that up because they are about to find themselves the Snaga Siren. Natsumi walks into three enemy here, skips off the match cell, but now he's silenced. Oh, the Orchid! Ah, Winter! Made of a preemptive Manta there, maybe, but Squadix either way, making that Orchid count a second kill onto two cores. They'd love to catch Abed, but he does have an Amplified Damage Room currently active. Fighting for this 18-minute rune. Are you going to get one into the bottle now for this moment? There could be the blink initiation. They've caught Gabby Song of the Siren and the Sunray Heal. They're able to reset this fight. Orchid Burn, is that going to kill him? Not quite, but close. As down goes the Super Hell done. The Silence on the squad. It prevents him from leaping on out as Tim leaps on through this fight. Great stuns. Pushes back Kiritich as well. He's already used the Enrage, so he's just going to try and take Tim's down with him as he is burning alive. Gabby on the dominating streak as he was the initial target of that blink lasso. And in fact, it is a blacklist rivalry who don't drop a single hero in this fight and a white Virtus Pro. I mean, it was kind of the dream fight for Abed. It is certainly turning into a little bit of the Abed show. We might just see another pickoff here as Squad X. He's going to keep this coil he's straight into the charge and the Sunray damage. It's just too much. It's max level Sunray. In fact, they're looking for a, a plus one. Tim's able to use reserve that Nether Strike for the kill onto Antares. Oh, as it's not too many kills. On the other side of the map, there's a hello. Say hello to the Orchid or a Warrior. In trouble now. Could be Natsumi, however, he's got no song, he's got no Manta style, but he does have Gabby nearby, and they've got Vision, a very f fast kill there with the focus fire. Is this just another team wipe? It just might be, it's Tim, he's gonna connect that charge. Notice, he's not having a great time here, focused on trying to get up to the high ground, at least he shall live. Timing is, like, completely set back, you know. 
kill onto Antares. If you get a kill with the last or the, the sword jumping in, you're gonna buy yourself time, you know. But if you go BKB straight, it might mean you're losing out on the kill because you cannot follow up the storm on the back. Uh, by the way, notice has just died down bottom, up top lane. They're hunting for Tim's, but Tim's, he's got a full Shadow Blade already, looking for a bash, hoping for a bash there on the squad. It's a little cheeky auto attack, but won't find one that easily. I assume there must have been an off lane Phoenix at some point in this patch. I think the hero's somewhat viable in a core role as Tim's. This time he may have gotten a little bit too greedy. He's trying to charge through here. No way. Is he going to get out? They've already used Bushwhack. Okay, Flame Break is there. They push him back into the hands. I guess the paws of Kira Teach, wow. who tears him to, to shreds. He's BKB They're gonna jump onto him now. He does not BKB. He's 300 gold away, Winter, and now he's even further as they've also found themselves the Earth Warrior. Aggressive Yule Scepter pop there as Kiritich is gonna BKB and TP away. Alrighty then, Antares. Not much he can do here as they are chasing him down with the Sunray Abed. He's got another Illusory Orb in a second. The charge. Oh, I was gonna about to say, Tim's uh, maybe made me believe that he was gonna actually continue that charge, but thinks better of it. I, I'm saying last year they used to be indecisive. This year, you know, we can have a conversation about uh, how that's changed. But for now, they seem to be playing things perfectly as they just get another free pick off there onto FNG. And then you have to dodge. Uh, you have to kite after that. Oh, Abed is running in with the Aegis and the Jet. Yeah. He does not care. He doesn't care. Antares is deleted in the meantime as Gabby just finds another pick off around the map. I think another problem, honestly, that BP are running into is that Blacklists are just incredibly mobile. There's another kill. Matsumi gets FMG in the jungle as even Kiritich, he might not be safe here. He's going to snap coil, but not using range and not using PKB. Might not get a chance here. But as he does get off the range, he will turn and take down Tim. Just notice, able to assist it with a big old whirling death. Kiritich still alive, but Abed, he chased up flag on Abed, who is willing to sacrifice this agent. Still 30 seconds left on it as they Find the Scythe of Ice onto Notice. Abed finds the kill onto Kiritich, chasing into the base as it's John Well with the kill on the Timber. Right to the Witch Blade. DPS. <laughs> Starting to just bully down your buildings. What do you do here? Oh, the Scythe of Ice there. They're immediately setting up for Squad X. He gets the DKB off. He is at least able to zip away. But that is one less tool in his tool belt now to try and defend the high ground. They still want to lose the Rex. Another leap in there from Abed, but the blade damage is immense. Coil serving a double purpose, locking down the Storm Spirit, who's unable to zip after anyone and try and set up at least a free kill. But in the meantime, you have invaders at the gate, beating down your buildings. Notice as well, Silence able to dispel himself with the Lotus. Blacklist, even just with Song, look how confident they are. There's going to be the lasso finally on back as Kiritich able to ignore the Song. He bursts through the Windrunner. That lasso being used for one thing at least, but now Squadix, he's going to be in trouble. Big old charge in from Tim's connects onto two. Squadix able to get up to the high ground. Let's see what Abed has to say about that. However, as they've already lost on Taurus, Kiritich goes down. Notice he's still alive at the very least, but your mid buildings, they have already fallen. Oh, this game. One to forget here for Virtus Pro is there they go again. Another sight device on the notice. The lockdown, the control. He gets off the Lotus to dispel, but Tim does a BKB, continuing to chase and finds the kill underneath the towers. There's the GG call. This one's all over. This one's definitely all over. It's over for quite some time already. So, like I said, yeah, the once again, the Abed show, you know, they didn't really have very, very good tools of uh, stopping him once the game. Hope Wing plus Beast wants to just 2 v 3 no problem, you know, this Enchantress, Slug, SB, is no match at all. Yeah. Pretty soon it's- Oh, there it is. Eventually they find him, FNG goes down. Let's to get that uh, HP regen. Oh, well, Abed gets the regen, this is huge. Yeah, Abed. He might continue going here. He's got this regen running, still active. Has a ball lightning ready on Taurus. Might be a nice catch. Frostbite is now ready. They're going to lock him down. Abed pumping in the damage here. The trap's low. Won't change a thing. They get the kill. Meanwhile, top. Gabby just runs down the Slark. And hey, he's able to get out of control. This is, this is not how they drew it up. Winter, is this, is, this is a counter pick. And she's supposed to beat the Beastmaster instead. She's just being dominated. Oh, comes They're gonna the come Lord. through with the gate now. Gabby, he might be... Yeah, he might still be fine. Well, actually, I don't know. Four heroes, that is certainly uh, 
maybe too much for him. Make it five, actually, as FNG will also That's join in. Five heroes, they, they all gone through the gate, they're no waiting at the gate now. Is. Him, and John, yeah. Yeah, they're going back in. A bit aggressive here. For fraction charges. Nope. That's not gonna make a difference. FNG, you no wisp will protect you from the mites of the elements, the freezing I mean, field. His game is going to be <laughs> It was a lot of money, okay? <laughs> it was a lot of money, but it wasn't that much. Come on oh, now, notice. Oh boy, he is just dead. Bro, well, I said eleven minute I got him, you know I I would follow you off of a cliff, my friend. Gabby, well, the cliff is going to be coming to him this Jack. time. They interrupt <laughs> them from a big old stack of Ancients. That's a second kill there. I do wonder if he'll drop another tip, as he will get his stack stolen now. Kind of kicking the other one's butt right now. FNG, he smokes up. He'll be happy. Oh, well, I don't know if he's going to be happy. Actually, it's Abed who's not going to be happy. He's been leashed up the once. Nether strike into the meld strike. They find a big kill here, as it's Blacklist who go hunting, find themselves the hunted. Tim's able to oh, evade capture. Sure. That's a big one. You go through the gates, you cross the map, you push out oh, waves. Notice, smoke breaks, they know he's hiding in the trees. Orchid malevolence means he can cast no spells. Oh, they're gonna go high ground here, I think, if they push down the tower. Nah, that's a they're not, come on, that's illegal, it's 15 minutes. They're not going high ground. Yeah. Definitely, got an, definitely got an ahead of myself. Well, hold on, hold on. Oh, wow, that, that's a very nice zip. He avoids that initial stun, and now, uh oh, rainbow TP's coming on through as the reinforcements from Blacklist. Gabby needs vision here for the Primal War. He's gonna eventually... <laughs> He'll just have to settle for the Bambi, as that darn Templar assassin is able to evade his grasp. He did use just we'll about it. I don't know what you have left to fight with now, Natsumi. Requiem of Souls does catch on Taurus here. Yeah, and he is an easy kill. They are going to call in the Fiend's Gate reinforcements now. Both cores looking to go on in. There's that defusal getting to work Gabby's on the John Well. He should be an easy kill, but Natsumi's also standing his ground. Gabby able to beat down the drums and take down Notice as Gabby finds a second now onto Kiritich. It's Abed who locks down Squad X and an FNG once again. A little bit of Bambi dessert as it is a 1 for 5 wipe. Should be a tier 2 tower as we haven't had to deal with this. Hold that thought, Squad X. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're going to stack the stuns, but uh, it's not going to matter. Gabby's yeah, the one to collect the kill there. Zava is credited for canceling the TP. Scroll notice. He's going to try and TP out as well. And, uh, well, I thought he was going to be successful. I thought wrong, though, as Tim's is going to be able to catch up to him with that Rod of Atos. This so is... Just, just sitting there and waiting for the uh -oh. inevitable end that's coming. Yeah, no matter how overprotective those wisps are, no way that it was going to save FNG in that instance. Kirite GTP's back. All he has is an Orchid, but it's Abed who has a BKB. He has a Dispel. Good four staff sees Natsumi out of harm's way as they're going to leap on forward. Kirite forced to use the Shadow Dance early. Abed taking a bit of damage. Bob comes the Requiem now. That heal does keep Notice topped up here just for a bit longer as Abed is BKB wearing off. He will be pushed off of the high ground. A buyback from FNG. All hands on deck now for Virtus Pro, who do manage to keep everyone alive, including these melee barracks on 69 HP. A nice play from them there. Impressive for Blacklist. Oh, and a nice TA silence on the Beastmaster. Gabby jumped in a bit too early. He still has all the drums of Slom keeping him topped up, but eventually will be killed off. Hold on. Maybe too aggressive here, Blacklist. Not too many, though. Still dealing the damage. Kirati, she does not have a Shadow Dance, but a nicely timed Dark Pact is going to at least be able to get Slark to safety. Squadix jumping in as John Well with the world's shortest freezing field realizes he's got to get out of here as the fight's falling apart. Abed, he gets jumped by Kirati. Just Squadix collects the kill onto Tim's. A double kill now for the Slark, and well, it's still a 15k now. Worthy, let's temper our expectations here, Winter. But that is at least signs of life for Virtus Pro. And now it's all ride or die for them. It's Abed, who might be die for him. His BKB charge oh, is nice ready to go, the but the Nether Strike still catching him. Abed able to zip away. Virtus Pro, they haven't really committed much. Is not assuming he TPs to the tier one tower, ready to go on this Requiem. Kiritich is caught once, the four staff forward. Natsumi trying to get the Requiem up, but he doesn't have a BKB. The charge through, who's going to catch him once? Requiem now silenced by the trap as Kiritich rips through Gabby. Virtus Pro fighting their way back in this game. Blacklist, they might be letting this slip through their hands as that's going to aggressive Fiends Gage on well. Just dropping the freezing field. That's good enough for the kill. Onto Antares as the Rod of Atos now holding down Squad X. But Virtus Pro sensing blood in the water. They're looking for more. Lord Gabby is dead. Notice his silence as Tim's retreating underneath his tower. John Well dies to Kiritich here in the Wishing Wells. Notice taking a beating here from this physical damage SF. But VP 
find a second big kill here onto the Beastmaster. The only thing that can stop C is themselves as Tim's is able to find eyes onto Kiritich. Kiritich, they're going to try and set up for the chain stun here. They still throw the mech heal, but it's not enough. Natsumi, he's got overwhelming physical damage, and that's the gem of true sight now on the deck. VP, how much more will they lose? Gabby, this time he's going to be able to get off the primal roar. Drums of slum, and Natsumi picks up his second kill now with the assistance. Abed leading them forward, charging forth now. Connects onto Squadix, pulls him away from the tree that Tim's needed for the bushwhack. Will that make a difference? It will not. Squadix still dies, such as the net worth lead for Blacklist, who will now claim their prize of Arosha. And that's how the fights are supposed to go. One, one more round of this. <laughs> Kiritich, he might be able to find himself a free support kill here. Solar Crest, find a bit of time now. This might be a little bit too deep. That's a great charge forward, though, but Natsumi Raccoon. unleashing on this Requiem of Souls. The fear, it's good enough for the kill. No chance to get off the Shadow Dance. John Wall eventually goes down, but notice he's committed his entire life just for the Maiden. I mean, to be fair, I've known guys who have also thrown their life away. Natsumi. Okay, on a cheeky little fortify, because they're going to get a second one, but there's going to be the initiation on the Squadix, another charge in, but Antares, he's pushed away! Look at that! It was like a magic trick! Blacklist International showing us a true magic trick. They, you know, you're there one second, and then all of a sudden, where'd the TA go? Did she melt? Nope, she's just dead. Down it goes. Simi surely does a number as well as Notice trying to do his best. Okay, now they've got to just give it whatever they've got. They're on to Abed. The control is pretty good, but Abed with a BKB, he simply just walks away while Natsumi beats into FNG. FNG, no way out of this for him. He's sidelined now for 70 seconds of the dieback penalty for him. Notice he's not getting away from Natsumi. Is No one's getting away from Natsumi at this point, but notice he does have buyback. They've dropped a Meteor Hammer out of Carrot's Beach, and he's just dead. He Shadow Dance, but for what? A dance into the grave for them. A dance for the 2-0, and uh, a beautiful victory here for Blacklist as they take down British Pro. A little bit of a hiccup at the end.